Hey folks, this is Chris Meyer with Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. And today on the show, I have two people that have never been on the show before. We have two entertainers from King's Castle. They're in the Anthems of Rock show there, and it's Cole Sherritt and Sarah Marie. And so I'm really looking forward to talking to them about that new show here in Branson. Um, there's actually uh, a few new shows in Branson this year, and so if you haven't caught them yet, you still have time to do that. Uh, Noah is back for a year over at Sight and Sound Theater. Uh, we also have Stevie Woods uh, from Nashville Roadhouse Live. He's over at the Branson Star Theater. And we're gonna, today, we're going to talk a lot about anthems of rock over at the King's Castle Theater. Okay, I've got some random facts for you today that are useless. You'll never need to know this information, but here they are. Blue whales eat half a million calories in one mouthful. That's a lot of calories. Turkeys can blush. Did you know that? I did not know that. Uh, that tiny pocket in jeans, that was designed to, for your pocket watch. So no one wears pocket watches anymore, but they keep putting the pockets in the jeans. And the longest English word is 189,819 letters long. I can't tell you what that is because that wouldn't all fit on my page. So, but that's a long word. Um, Folks, here's the other thing you need to be thinking about. It's the end of October, and right around the corner is Christmas, and Branson is one of the best places to come and take a Christmas vacation. So if you haven't started planning, you need to, and plan to come to Branson this Christmas for Christmas shows, of course, Christmas lights, Christmas drive throughs Silver Dollar City Christmas lights. There's lots of stuff happening. I want to give you one other little tip. Uh, every once in a while we do this. Here's a publication out there called The Taste of Branson. This is located probably in your hotel room. If not, ask your front desk and you can get lots of menu samples. So if you're trying to say, where should I eat while I'm in Branson? Check out The Taste of Branson. Folks, we'll be back in just a minute with folks from Anthems of Rock. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson, and today I have two guests on the show that are brand new, never been on the show before. We have Cole Sherritt and Sarah Marie, and you guys are from the Anthems of Rock over at King's Castle, and it's a brand new show, and so I, I can say I've seen it, uh, and we're going to talk about the show, but we're going to talk about history first, and so Cole, I'm just going to let you kind of lead the way here, and because you've got a you've got a pretty long history of being in this business, and so kind of take people through that. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, old. It's uh, <laughs> I started, you know, um, I, my my parents were both entertainers, and so uh, I started at a really young age, like 13, and uh, pretty much everywhere I've gone, I've been involved in uh, theater or music or production of some sort. Yeah. Give, give people a history of like, kind of like, okay, you started at 13, but like your progression. So give them a little more detail. All right. Well, I, I started out in Texas as a singer-songwriter. Um, shortly after that, I was in uh, Southern Utah working uh, at, at college, uh, learning production uh, show type of things. Uh, went to Vegas, signed a record deal for a little bit. Um, went back into production shows, uh, hopped on cruise ships, joined the acapella world for a while. Did that so, for about seven years. And so there was an acapella group that used to be here in Branson that Correct. you were a part of called Cat's Pajamas. That's right. Yeah. Now, were you a part of that here in Branson? Uh, yes, I was. At okay. The, at the Andy Williams, and then um, I'm still a part of that group as well today. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And uh, just, uh, I don't know, traveled all around cruise ships, uh, other acapella groups like Ball in the House, uh, comedy group Moose Butter. Um, but went back into uh, to live production, uh, integrated music back in. Um, I know you mentioned uh, you saw a video of me live looping in Vegas. Uh, so I worked for the casinos out in Las Vegas doing uh, beatboxing and singing and live looping for the lounges, essentially like a lounge entertainer out there. Yeah. But, and that uh, was an awesome video. So I'm going to tell people you got to go check out his video uh, online. It was awesome. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, but, you know, my family loves it out here and uh, we have a 
got a great opportunity to join up with the show and so here okay. we are. Okay. Yeah. So first year on this show because it's a brand new show, but Correct, you're yeah. but you're uh, you're here new. Good. That's awesome. Sarah Marie. Yes, sir. Tell us about you. Um, I grew up in St. Louis. I've been singing since I was three. My dad was a jazz musician, is, and so I started singing young on stage with him and his bands, and then I got a little older, learned how to play guitar, because I wanted to be able to accompany myself and sing at the same time. So then I started songwriting with my sister, and we had a CD or two in St. Louis. Then I started to gig a lot in St. Louis, and then I started touring with another band around the Midwest. Then I came here. Yeah. Now I'm doing this. So how did how did you how did you guys both like get the gig in Branson? Like, did you have to audition? Was it knowing people? Like, how did that happen? I got lucky. I um, met a girl who told me about the audition, and I had no idea what the theater was or where it was, and oh. I went to the audition, and yeah, got lucky. Yeah. Now, had you been in Branson before, or did you, like, even even though you lived in St. Louis, you really didn't know much about Branson? Correct. I really didn't know much about Branson. See, people, there are still <laughs> tons of opportunity. Like, I'm like, there's people every day, like, they, they just don't know a lot about Branson. And so, perfect example. But now you're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. what about you? Um, this particular show, uh, uh, my buddy Marcus from the Texas Tenors uh, told me that they were auditioning over here as well. And... And I had done a few other theaters in Branson before, but uh, we were honestly, we were just about to go back to Vegas full time. And, uh, we, and we were on the showboat last year, but we, we left that company and we're going back to Vegas and uh, found out about this show and yeah. Just so, so you're able to stay in yeah, Branson. So, exactly, so. Okay. Stick around and make it a long-term thing, hopefully. So. Yeah, so you guys are one of the few new shows in Branson. Um, which I'm like, okay, launching a new show in COVID. Of course, when they planned this show launch, they did not realize COVID was going to happen. Right. But I'm like, anybody to launch a new show during COVID, that's, that's got to be extremely Risk. tough. Mm -hmm. uh, now, King's Castle has lots of shows. They've been here a long time. You know, so it's, it's not like they don't know what they're, what they're doing, right? Um, so... Uh, Sarah Marie, like, since this is kind of your first experience in Branson, like, what, what's your impression been of Branson since you've been here? Um, it's different. It's different, but it's fun, and there's lots of opportunity for performers. Um, yeah. yeah. And I'm proud to be part of this show, which is a newer kind of show, a younger kind of crowd-drawing show yeah. for this area. Yeah. Now, are you, like you said, you're, I think it was your dad was a jazz performer, right? Mm -hmm. Is that your main music, or are you, are you a rocker at heart? Or I grew up with jazz, of course, so that was in my heart. Big band and all that, and um, I love jazz, but I'm also, I've always loved rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm telling you, folks. I, I I just saw this show, and let me tell you, they they can rock it out. I'm. And we're going to talk more about the show in in just a second. Now, Cole, I want to go back to you said you you had a record deal, and so I, anytime someone says that, I always like to get more information about that because those can be sure. good, those can be bad. Like, yeah, it was talk a to good, us about that. It was a good learning experience. So it was a smaller label. Um, uh, we worked on primarily remixes. Uh, I think the coolest thing I ever did was got a, I got to play guitar on a Michael Jackson remix one time. Okay. Um, like one chord, just still awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and we didn't even get the remix. Like we we were the runner up to Jay Z, but we still got paid five hundred bucks. Hey. For like one hour in the studio and got that. Uh, I can say it on a show like this now, you know. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but uh, it was cool. Uh, we worked on about, I have about 26 unfinished R&B songs. That was actually an R&B label and, yeah. and uh, yeah. So all different, for you really, all different types of music. Yeah, yeah, just it's been, uh, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge rock fan, like Zeppelin and Floyd and Aerosmith are probably my old school Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses, probably my favorite bands. But uh, since my parents are both musicians and growing up in Texas and traveling a lot, um, between that and acapella, I've pretty much been exposed to, you know, everything. A little bit of everything. <laughs> and so I found things in every genre that I liked. And yeah. usually I'd get tired of playing one for a while, and so I'd jump to a different style. Yeah. And 
Yeah, and see, I think that's, folks, and, and I've said this about our musicians, is they're, they're really multi-talented, and I think you can see that just in talking here, that, like, it's not just one style for our entertainers, and uh, that's the great thing about Branson, is they do lots of different styles, and, and we've had folks on the show in the past from King's Castle, you guys in, uh, in your cast, you have Jay McManus, right? And yeah, right. Uh, he's been on the show before, maybe a couple times, in fact, and... My wife really liked his hair. I will have to tell you that she really <laughs> liked his hair in the show, uh, and she did comment about that. I can't grow hair like that anymore. Whether I don't even know is that his real hair or not. We don't. We won't. It, it, it is. Sure is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I wish I could grow. Jay, if you're watching, I wish I had hair like yours. <laughs> let me tell you. Um, I tell you what. We're going to stop here, and we're going to come back and talk more about anthems of rock here in just a moment. Hang tight. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. We are here today with two entertainers from Anthems of Rock, Cole Sherritt and Sarah Marie. And I always think, I always, I'm always like hesitant, so I'm always looking down here, did I get the names right? But I think I got the names right. Mm -hmm. I did, I did well job. today. <laughs> um, and uh, I just saw the show literally two days ago. And, and I, have to big, I have to give a big thanks out to the staff at King's Castle, because I had a last minute cancel on this show. And I'm like, who can I get? And I'm like, I want to get performers from this show. And here they are today, literally a day's mm -hmm. notice. And so that just that just shows you how helpful people are in Branson from an entertainer standpoint. So I got to say a big shout out to the to the staff at uh, King's Castle. So Anthems of Rock, new show, anything, nothing like it in Branson. So talk about the show. What can people expect? What are they going to get? Whoever wants to take it. Some of their favorite rock songs. Um, I think it goes back to like the seven. Well, maybe before the seventies, like the sixties. We got some Beatles in there. Yeah, early seventies. Yeah. yeah, so it covers some decades there. So yeah, it's like a diverse rock party. I mean, any mm -hmm. uh, you know, like uh, songs. I don't know. For me, like driving around in high school in my Mustang, listening to rock songs, you know? Like, <laughs> that's giving away my age a little bit there. But. <laughs> well, here, I, I graduated in 88. All right. Well, so are you younger than me? Yes. Yes, you are. See, yeah. I figured that. I figured that. Um, but, uh, but no, a great, uh, you know, a lot of great music from that era, you know, as well as it, it covers the span of 25, 30 years, so it's kind of hard to... Yeah. To, I mean, you can easily fill up two hours worth of good music, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole there's a whole cast. Mm -hmm. So talk about talk about yeah. kind of the cast in general. Yeah, the dancers are rocking it, you know. Um, yeah, we got lots of dancers. Um, one of the dancers choreographed the whole show. Um, yeah, we got what five singers, mm -hmm. yeah. including ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so I, I recognized every song, I think except one. And the song I did not recognize was the song by The Who, and it was like Pinball Wizard. I just really wasn't, I just wasn't a big Who fan, I guess. But literally every other song I, I knew, not every other song, but every song. Mm -hmm. Sure. One time my wife hit yeah. me and she's like, you don't have to sing with these songs. <laughs> but I'm like, you guys encourage that Absolutely. on the show. You're like, yeah. hey, if you want to sing along. Um, I do, yeah. yeah. And, and I, you know, as I looked around, I saw a lot of heads bobbing, mm -hmm. you know, because people were, people were into it. Um, and you know, they were, they were enjoying it. In fact, there was a lady down in the front that like, she was going crazy. Like <laughs> it was awesome. Like I loved the enthusiasm that she had. Um, is there a couple songs that are like your favorite during the show? Uh, you know, I'd say the songs that I'm not in that are my favorite just to watch from side stage. Uh, one of them is, is definitely I Heard You Out With Brian um, towards the end, the Meatloaf song. It's one of my favorites um, yeah, to do. 
uh, any song where the dancers are rocking, which is pretty much the whole time, where we sing, a, you know, we all sing different lines in the song, and so we, we get to sit kind of and jam over in certain sections and kind of watch the dancers jamming, so that's cool. Uh, my favorite song to be a part of is probably Stairway to Heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but so for me, it'd probably be those. Yeah. What, what's your favorite song? Um, it's a hard decision because they're just all so fun. Um, one of my favorite ones to do is the Meatloaf one. That's a fun one, and I would and I never thought that I would really get into that song. When yeah. I found out that was in the show, I was like, oh, okay, it's not my favorite, but now I do love doing it. Yeah. 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 So folks are going to get a lot of different types of entertainers here. So you're going to get there's some Aerosmith. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got Dream On, and you, you, you're the you're kind of up there in the top lead. You're rocking that one out. Mm -hmm. um, and, but there's another Aerosmith. What's that other Walk one? This Walk, Walk this way. Walk this way. way. Which, yeah. yep. And so you got <laughs> you guys are kind of doing yeah. some rap singing there, and mm -hmm. uh, of course Bon Jovi. Uh, if you grew up in the '80s, like that's like classic. Living mm -hmm. on a prayer. Yeah. Um, Gosh, what was the other Bon Jovi song? You give love, um, a, give bad love a bad name. name. You live, yep. give love a bad name. That's right. Um, of course, Def Leppard, Pour Some Sugar on Me. Yeah. <laughs> that one's good. That's a fun one to That's, do, too. That was yeah. good. That's I mean, good energy. And then you guys have got the Beatles, uh, Elton John, mm -hmm. um, Rocket Man, uh, Queen. You got some Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. And there's just like the Journey. Uh, what, what were the journey? Don't stop believing any way you want it. Anyway, yeah. So we got heart. Heart. Uh, Pat Benatar. Boston. Chicago. Born Chicago. Pretty much. I mean, there's there's just a ton <laughs> of. Do you know how many total songs you guys are doing in the I, show? I've not counted. I don't know for sure. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could do it now, but it might take a few minutes <laughs> to think yeah. about. It. Yeah. 30, is it? 30, 32. Oh, she knows. 32, 32 songs <laughs> in the show. Uh, and there is an intermission, so you can go get popcorn and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, here's the thing is, and, and I've heard that, you know, it's been so far this year, even though we've had COVID and all that kind of stuff, it's done really well as a show. But Thank I think you. if you think about, like, how, like, like, I'm 50. I don't even like to say that, but, like, people that are in their 50s 60s like they grew up on rock and roll now and mm -hmm. like i think sometimes people think people that are older aren't rock aren't into rock mm. you know and so i'm guessing you guys have seen a lot of older people at your show that are into it it's not just young people and it's not and you know it's you you know i i think it's really awesome when i look down there's like an 80 year old lady sitting there she's I'm like this, and she's singing along. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's awesome. I love that you're loving it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Cole, you one of one of the, your bio things I saw it said beatbox. You do beatbox. I do, yeah. And so can can you just do some like on the spur of the moment? <laughs> like, is that yeah, possible? Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd love to see you do some. There we go. <laughs> There you go. That is live on. The, that wasn't rehearsed. I didn't even tell him I was going to have him do that. We but never had that before. We haven't had that before. But, awesome. you know, I, it, this just comes back to the quality of our entertainers and how. And that, that's why one of the reasons we do this show is because you see them on the show, but sometimes they have a history and they have, they have skills you don't, you're not going to see on the show. So um, what do you guys do during COVID? Like, as an entertainer, like what, what did you do during that time frame? You mean after we all took a break during yeah, that time? Yeah, yeah. Just took a break. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, when are we going to go back? We can't even to go back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just uh, cooked a lot, yeah, and took a break. Yeah. Cooked, yeah. Cooked, yeah. yeah. Cooked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I got to spend a lot of time with my kids. That was nice. Definitely. Home yeah. with the kids. Now, how many, how many kids do you both have, and how old are they? I have three. Three. Ten, eight, and she will be six in December. Okay. And I have five. Five um, kids. Eleven, ten, nine, three, and one. So what do what do your kids think like about you guys being in like a rock show? Like, do they? Do oh, they love it. They think my mom's they a rocker. It. Yeah. I yeah. think it's so cool. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Same. That's awesome. And then my two older girls want, also want to be singer entertainers. So. So now you got to teach them. 
Yeah, and that, that started, I've kind of waited. My dad waited until I was really serious. I used to always bug him, like, when are you going to teach me how to play guitar? When are you going to teach me how to sing? And he'd wait until I would follow up on it before he would do anything. And so I kind of took a page out of that, and it seems to be working, you know. So this year they've really, they've really gotten interested in it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so Anthems of Rock, um, how many shows are you guys doing a week? Five. Five shows. Yep. And I guess, are they at different times? Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, they are at 8 o'clock. Okay. And then Thursday, we have a matinee at 2. Okay. So five times a week, guys, you can see the show, because they do have other shows there at the theater, which you can figure that out by going to their website, which is, I guess you can Google King's Castle, and it will pop up. Uh, or you can go to ibranson.com as well. Um, if you like rock and roll music, folks, you need to go check this show out. It is a fun show. These folks can belt it out. They can rock it with their guitars and everything as well. Plus, it's choreographed with dancers. And so lots happening, lots of excitement on stage. And so be sure to go see this new show in Branson, Anthems of Rock. We'll be back in just a moment. So this is a really high energy rock show. We're gonna rock your socks off with it. Hopefully Branson is ready for that. The dancers are gonna fill out tricks, somersaults. They're gonna to expect to see something different. Lots of new choreography. We've got an amazing cast, amazing dancers, phenomenal singers. We we'll just pack you full of rock and everything you'd love about rock. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. Um, here's what I'm gonna encourage you to do, is go check out uh, Cole Sherritt, just Google him on Google, of course. Uh, and there's a video there of him doing this loop stuff, and it is pretty darn amazing. And so you do need to check that out. Be sure to go to Anthems of Rock. If you like Journey, Bon Jovi, Def Leppard, The Beatles, Aerosmith, uh, the list goes on and on. If you like that type of music, you're going to want to check this out. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you need help with your show tickets, your hotel rooms, your attraction tickets, you can go to ibranson.com or you can call those folks at 877-ENTERTAIN. They can help put your entire Branson vacation together. And if you haven't been to Branson yet this year, it's time to come. Branson's one of the only few locations uh, open in the country that are, is doing live entertainment. Uh, folks are social distancing. You do have to wear a mask into the theater. Uh, once you sit down, uh, then you can take it off. Uh, now that could have changed by the time you see this, but that is where we are today. And um, folks, we hope to see you soon in Branson. And stay tuned. Next week, we'll have a great new episode for you to watch then. Mm -hmm.